zap you with solar radiation. Who? What? How? You. He he went. He walked through the floor and uh, chased you down. I didn't and end up teleporting, remember? Because he got oh, nullified. Well. Okay, well, he's still going to zap you. <laughs> but he missed. I'm just like, hey man, I was going to help out with this building, but you know what? And just kind of leave it up there until my turn. I do not see fact in your statements. Ray. Uh, now that our speedster has cleared part of the pines, can I... I'm gonna try to save some more people. Okay, D100. Alright, you saved a little over half. You still have about 600 people left, roughly. <clears throat> you do? Alright, uh, Kasai. Um... God, I feel super villainy, but when I was on the security <laughs> system, uh, did I see anything else of interest? Like... I don't know. You weren't really looking for anything else other than suits and stuff. Okay. <laughs> well, um, the real me, I'm just going to turn into flowers and just reappear in, like, some old lady's go rooftop garden or something. And, okay. uh, so you turn to flowers and then disappear. Yep. All right. And then, oop, that. What's the range on that? Uh, I can do up to six. Well, it's actually, I think two, but I have extended on it. So. So add eight. Bring ten. Um. All right. So, we'll go with that. So and, you're out of the combat, basically. Yeah, my um duplicate's still there, which I didn't mean to take myself off turn order. Um but duplicate, um just gonna kinda cover it with more vines. Not so much blocking up entrances and stuff, but just kinda like trying to give it a little bit more structure. Okay, Twitch. Time for another two months of effective time. Alright, give me a 5d100. And you saved only a small portion of civilians are left. Add that, subtract, 355. And Umbra. Uh, I got knocked out, oh. remember? Oh yeah, I'm conscious. You'll see what happens. Rescue, or maybe I'm just on the ground bleeding, 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 holding my nose. I don't know what you want. <laughs> Iron Man's doing his thing. Leviathan's doing his thing. Punisher, Vision. Everyone's pretty much saving the building. So, long story short, you managed to keep the building upright without it crumbling. Though it was in no danger of falling, everyone thought it was. Uh, a few heroes show up to the scene to come combat whatever was happening here. You see a couple A-listers show up, like Miss um, Marvel. Uh, let's see. What's my list? I thought Rogue already ate Miss Marvel in this timeline. She didn't die. She just got fucked. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Miss Marvel, the Fantastic Four, uh, they all show up. Uh, She-Hulk showed up, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. No one else showed up. Okay. <clears throat> so they're all flying around, trying to basically keep the building up, saving people, doing their hero thing. And I guess since I can finally show you guys these guys, because I I made these guys literally the very first session we played together, and I've been Jesus. waiting to introduce them, <laughs> but it never the came up. The picture of the woman just went for a while, and I thought that was a joke. The what? The picture from Invisible Woman didn't work for a while, and I thought that was a joke because there was just no picture. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, that would have been fantastic. Yeah, Something awesome. I would do. <laughs> okay, but uh, but yeah, they all show up to the scene to go and do their thing, and that is it. Now let's forward to Umbra because Umbra, in the Shadow Realm, is restrained. In some electromagnetic uh, mutant, not electromagnetic, but some mutant nullifying gauntlets that are designed to hamper the potential of any mutant uh, abilities. I I guess I do want to say again now, Umbra's you, ability to be fluid is innate. I, let me finish it. <laughs> I know, I know. Go on. You can come out of it easily, but there she is. doesn't know that. But someone's there now. Someone's basically sitting over you as you wake up with your hands restrained. And you see her talking to someone. You get a glimpse of... Uh, where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? I just had a scary sheet. Where is it? Cool. Is it under, underlined? I don't know. Yeah, it's underlined. Oh, hey! And that's where we're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can one v one Doctor Strange. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just basically one v one Stark Town, so maybe. <laughs> All right. So I am loath to give you guys points for it because that was a shameful display. <laughs> no. As far as I knew, I wasn't doing anything wrong. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to be a display, a sham of a hero session. I was trying to be so, the situation for so long. Oh my God. Because of this happening, everybody hates us. We Very made nice. our Paris watch list get a little bit bigger <laughs> to include Kasai. <laughs> I'm I had my face confused in the files. So everyone who wasn't on the terrorist watch list is now on the terrorist watch list and the outlook on civilians decreases by four because you destroyed damn near a city block from just crap falling in the streets. Okay. okay. Hmm. <sighs> I really want to see you justify this. You tell me something now. Oh, no, I'm not going to justify anything. I cannot literally unfuck the situation. So when the plot starts, I say, okay, maybe there's a chance we survive this without becoming a, a terrorist group. Maybe in our hearts we can find a way to survive this. We have to, to be check fair. it. To be fair. Did you know this? Destroy the whole building. He was so close. To just saying, I honestly, if he would, if he would taken you back to his place, he would have locked you up and then took you all out one at a time and interrogated you, and then eventually that would have gave you chances to persuade him and him go, all right, maybe you're not bad, but the rest of the mutants still are, and we still need to go through with this. And if you would have slowly convinced him, hey, maybe this isn't the right route to go, he would have said, all right, I'm pulling out of the signal. This was like. <laughs> now, that was kind of the nature of our initial conversation, but it didn't seem to actually work. Everything, oh, he was, yeah. He was going to rescue first. It's like telling a cop, I know I have a warrant, but let's look the other way on that one. <laughs> I use He's going to take you to prison first, and then you can plead your case. The Tony Stark invades our mansion by himself solo event would have been pretty hilarious, too. <laughs> oh, no, he wouldn't have done it solo. He would have called the rest of the Avengers. It still would have been like, we get back, we go, all right, I wonder what hit the ship. I bet he's really techie and he attached a tracker. And then we just see Iron Man hanging off the side of the ship. <laughs> this wave goes, what's up? No, he was literally <laughs> hanging off the side of the ship while you guys are flying. So that's why I said he uses extra effort to catch up to you, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, do you guys know the sad song drop from freaking Rick and Morty? That's how I felt as as I heard 
Now the building is gonna fall. <laughs> I literally. <laughs> That's oh, our yeah, MO guys. at this point. That's the campaign <laughs> MO. We can ride the so guy is really IV. explodes. Every time. The guy is IV you stole was this guy. I literally had him stat it just in case he was saying, I want to bring him in the room with me. Oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> I could have had a happy, happy reunion. He was so IV, and I was like, okay, well, maybe they're going to bring him in the room. Umbers never saw him, and Kasai definitely never met him. So, for the record, uh, I, I'm just going to tell you now, Leviathan is not happy with either Dwight or Kasai. <laughs> Okay, so legitimately, that was the most terrorist way you could have approached that. Uh, you can't even call yourself be... heroes at this how point. I'm low to even give you a hero point at the beginning of the next session. <laughs> how did you? How did you guys went so evil? Y'all heard me. You didn't even intend to. It was all accidents everywhere. The heroes even told you stop being evil. We need to save the civilians, and you guys are like, we're gonna keep stealing stuff. I was Literally, holding the building together. He has the excuse because he is evil. Because no, I was holding the building together. <laughs> Y'all heard me try to de-escalate the situation. Yeah, everyone else is doing their best. Yeah, and, and, Ray, and then Ray he basically be the said, "All the right," X-Men, but nobody's saying anything about it. Oh God. You know, we're gonna, it's gonna happen. Ugh. Remember how I told you that people can get recruited away from your team if bad stuff happens too much? Yeah, everybody's gonna leave. Ain't nobody gonna win. You might end up losing a couple of people from that last little show. You might end up losing Leviathan. <laughs> and, uh, um, I might just walk with Leviathan. I might just say, yo, this might not be the, the, the place to be. Let's go down the list. This is like Doctor yeah, Strange well. and Ray need to like tie Umbra down and do a seance or something. I can't even get a single. A yeah, I can't like... think of a single person on that list who would be approving of that whole thing that just happened. Yeah. Oh, if he weren't already captured, uh, like the moment Leviathan lays his eyes on Dwight, he is throwing him in one of the cells. <laughs> well, they think hold it was, on, it hold on, hold on. It was his alter ego. <laughs> At this the point, he doesn't point Umbra, has been, the like, whole point of Umbra's existence is to make Dwight's existence a living hell. So I, I also want to point out, since Stark was the one that's making the Sentinels, hopefully destroying his tower could slow that down. Oh, he doesn't research them in the tower, he researches them in a research facility. Yeah, but maybe uh, uh, this whole we thing... We research stuff, we went to Stark Tower anyway. Yeah. This, this actually oh, seems to be his research location. Mm, kinda. But yes, it does put a hampering in it. Can I try to at least stay in touch with Stark? To try to calm him down? <laughs> Somehow? I don't know. I'll oh no, Stark, Stark can repair his tower pretty easy because... Oh no, I, I know he can. Easy. I'm just saying, like, he's probably gonna hate us. For life. He's probably gonna hunt us all down. Um... I will say that right now, the X-Men are completely irredeemable in his eyes, and he's actually going to donate more time and effort into eliminating the X-Men. Oh my god, I'm done. <laughs> Wait, okay. <laughs> Yo, Leviathan, let's, let's I, go on. I, I want to <laughs> also <laughs> point out <laughs> that, that because you all are wearing uniforms, so... Well, Leviathan, I'm okay with that rebranch, man. You're also, gonna, like... Hook up, we, man. Like, I don't know, we, do I know a friend? We, we need to come up with our own team name and do yeah. like, hold ourselves with these assets. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna rebrand ourselves. Out of hand. Man, has it got it out of hand. We're gonna rebrand ourselves with something else, and it's gonna redo all of your wealth and fair well being. But here's the thing every single one of you is a terrorist now. Now, hold on. I was never seen. I was moving faster than anyone could see the whole time. Hey, literally the very moment I realized what was going on, I stopped helping these idiots. Hey, hey, hey. So, I do also want to point out that, like, at the very start, whenever, because I was just trying to get away from them, Terry Stark just, like, sent Iron Man suits at me for no reason, not breaking any laws. You do what? Uh, I just also wanted to point out that at the very start of all of this happening, 
whenever I ended up in Central Park, didn't break any laws, and Tony Stark still sent Iron Man suits after me. Man, that no, was you just... you broke laws. You used your, you used your power? Actually, no. You okay. ran away after being identified as being an accomplice to one of the other X-Men. And you were being detained for leaving all those fucking plants or fucking up Canada. Like those roads. Hey, they so never told me that I was being detained for that. You. Huh? They never told me I was being detained for that. Yeah, he told. He asked you what happened in Canada. I told him about all the he demons. Did ask you that. Huh? I told him about all the demons. Yeah, he told about all the demons in which he was still asking about. I know you were the plant person because you're covered in plants and you're making plant bridges all over the city. Mm. But that's still not really an excuse for what happened. <laughs> <laughs> and all he did was send. He sent two Iron Man suits because you basically ran away from a cop at that point. So he didn't even. He wasn't going to kill you. He was going to knock you out. And then it all went from there. And I'm like, all right, well, they still could talk the way out of this. It'd be fine. It'd be wonderful. And then you attacked Punisher. And I'm like, they don't even know you're there. Just leave. I, I you legitimately know thought he was going in for like a full on let's beat up this dude. He, he, they, I, I thought you were going to go Umbra, down there. Just to understand Umbra. Umbra is a punk. Last time when he did this, he went to beat up Spider-Man to record Spider-Man saying that uh, Umbra was better than he was. Umbra's Don't objective listen. was to go in there and just lay a little bit of hurt and then probably leave. Anyways, I'm glad Don't that we found Spider-Man. I'm glad we I'm found Spider-Man. I'm surprised that Leviathan peeked his head in there, saw Umbra, and then left. <laughs> like well, I would I, not be surprised. Initially, he was a, a, under the impression that they were in trouble and needed his help. They were uh, causing the trouble. Yeah, I, I literally sent emojis telling you that we were going to steal stuff. Actually, yeah, I we did. We we sent emojis about dragon punching someone, and you said it back, no, saying I, I wasn't sent, light up on fire. I sent, um... <laughs> yeah, again, I assumed you were in trouble. But, no, 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 hold on. I sent dragon emoji, um, Iron Man suit emoji, thief emoji, and I sent that. In that case, yeah, he probably wouldn't have helped you. <laughs> but, misunderstandings happen. <laughs> It is hard to convey ideas from Thief Emoji. I'm a, I'm a but that's it. actually pretty fucking funny. This whole thing just well, spiraled I, more and more into devastation. Am I considered a terrorist even if I had that conversation with Stark? So, yeah. Jazzy. I don't even I don't even know how you can undo this. I have an idea. When was the last time? Time machine. When was the last time an idea went the right way? No, here's well, what we're I doing. have an idea of what's gonna happen or how we can get back on the tra the track here's when you guys are actually heroes. We we get Twitch to invent the portal gun a la Rick and Morty and we just abandon this reality for a different one. <laughs> but we didn't That's what I already can do. All the realities are mine. <laughs> Like, do you guys want me to, I don't know, start flying backwards in reverse time? Because I can, I, I got can Earth, actually... I got the Shadow Realm, and I got Hell. We can go to any of those. <laughs> well, I kind of want to go to Hell. Or you can just reveal that this was a dream or a what if. <laughs> oh no, I really, I hate that cop out. It's almost as bad as reversing time. <laughs> I mean, the, you know, in Universal yeah. Retcon. If you guys want me, I'll just start bumping points into my flying speed, you know, between me and the speed to be honest, and return I, time. I, I have an idea. I have one idea. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. Well, maybe it won't make sense. Uh, but the only thing is, I actually plan on Dr. Strange showing up at the end of the session anyway, because you guys always end the session at your place, and he was going to be like, oh, I need to talk to you. But... Now yeah. under completely different circumstances. Yeah, well, now we need to talk to us. <laughs> Definitely. 
He's like, look, no. I know this guy's an asshole, but I need him for something. The funny thing about it is he didn't even know what was happening in New York. He had no fucking clue. <laughs> but Rescue told him everything. <laughs> I picture Strange in this case, like, he needs Dwight for something. And he's just trying to explain to her, like, look, I know, I know. He's an asshole, but I need him. So... <laughs> pretty much how it went down, which is why she's not looking happy. <laughs> like, I know you're gonna not like this, but unfortunately, fate of the universe sort of stuff, so kind of overruling you here. <laughs> I have jurisdiction over all space and time, so, uh, go back to New York. <laughs> Here's the funny thing about it. If the actual Avengers showed up, you gotta be dead. But luckily, they're kind of disbanded now in opposite sides of the, co of the country, or the, yeah. the world. They're all over the world right now. Whenever all the people started showing up, that was a good time to get out. The only three Avengers that were in that location were Hawkeye, Iron Man, and Vision. Everyone else is on different deployment, different, is on different parts of the world. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of hoping we could take Hawkeye prisoner. And yes... Thor is an Avenger, and he is here, but he gives a fuck what's happening with mutants right now. He gives a fuck what's happening with America right now. He's just doing his he own problem. He probably barely cares Stark Tower got attacked. Oh, by the he, way... No, he does care, but it's like... It's, I mean, you should have defended it better, kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thor's an asshole. Oh. Uh, like Leviathan, how are we gonna call our new organization? Dude, that runs... <laughs> Like, do you have any suggestions for uh, I'll workshop it. I mean, because we're not Jeez. using the X. We are, we, we're dumping the X. Yeah, it's got too many bad connotations. You, you guys stuff. have been the X-Men for about maybe a full year now, and you already made it go from being a very nice organization that have a, they're very reputable. People know who they are, and they like them, to... They're terrorists, all of them. <laughs> send them out, send them up the river. So, <laughs> I, I want to know, has those <laughs> things happened to the group other than this? Did I just cause the wolves to fuck no. up? Okay. This is the absolute worst, because the mare kidnapping was just an accidental misunderstanding that could have been explained away in court or could have been explained away to somebody who wasn't there. This can't be. <laughs> no, there's literally... There's literally like how many of uh, the world's think? most trusted heroes and all their security footage shows. Yes. <laughs> the, the Stark Towers is one of the most well secured, hi, most highly patrolled areas in the entire Northwest or Northeast. So it's like, yeah, they have you, they have that entire fight in like three different angles. Well, they have like uh, the people who watch a crime being committed. Uh, how do you call them? Bystanders. Uh, Witnesses. Dog Tower isn't like super secure anymore, though, so. It's not one of the most secure places in the area, right? Not necessarily, not because uh, most likely what's going to happen is the government's going to swoop in and court on off the area while rebuilding happens, and Stark is kind of a billionaire so he can rebuild that shit in like maybe a couple weeks to a month well he probably has a secondary tower somewhere else yeah just transfer all of his out of there while it's being rebuilt no no I like the idea of like maybe he just like built one in a pocket dimension and he just hits a button and the new tower just pops up cause that's totally something that they oh. would do with comic books basically Flavor text, it has self repair. Rank one. So it just takes yeah, a little bit of time. basically just implying he can do whatever he wants. Mm. Yeah. Yo. Well, I am very what? sorry for fucking everything up for everyone. It, it was kind of my fault for go to get to that point. It, it, it's okay. I'm That's... just trying to uh, figure out. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't worry. That... I already have my own plan for getting out of this, and that involves selling you up the river. <laughs> I, I really thought you wanted to, like, go in there and beat them all up, but... And we did, but then you 
than the building flew up. <laughs> Which is slightly more than we expected. You know what's funny? It's like that scene where it's like, um, all right, you're going to be the bad cop, you know, from other guy? Where he goes, uh, he goes in and starts, like, yelling. It's like, no, I thought you said I, you won't be the bad cop, and I was going to be the batter cop. And he just goes crazy and starts smacking him around. <laughs> That's that scene. <laughs> to be perfectly clear, Leviathan is all too happy to beat the ever-loving shit out of the people who deserve it. Uh, uh, Dwight gets bullied again. I love how I was literally talking to Tony Stark, and he was like, okay, I will hear you. And as soon as we turn around... The building is now in shambles. I kept saying, are trapped. you ready? <laughs> Cause... At least it wasn't Ray's fault this time. Yeah, at least I wasn't the one who kidnapped the mayor. Gosh, I have to actually have Umbra destroy a building himself next time. No, no you don't. No, I, I will kill Umbra before you. As, as far as the Ryan is concerned, there isn't gonna be a next time for Umbra. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know what's funny about that? You guys got on the you got you guys uh picked up your friend. Okay, cool. You got on the ship, all right, fine. And you're about to fly away, and then I just say, Umbra. And everybody's like, God damn it, we are so close. Well, like like I said, up until now, Leviathan's position on Umbra has been just ignore him and he'll do something stupid but largely harmless. This was not harmless. To be fair. Umbra didn't really do much in that scenario. He just beat up a couple special forces guy and tried to leave. <laughs> he actually hey, took more bullets than he let out, so... Hey, I was just following his lead and misinterpreting it. To be fair, Dwight did more damage to Stark Tower than Umbra did because he shot the window out. Yeah, but he's oh, still yeah, gonna actually. blame him for this. As well as... Oh yeah, Kasai would have never been there <laughs> if it wasn't for Umbra, so we're blaming Umbra. You know, maybe the leader of the team should not be somebody that turns into, you know, it a shadow monster. Oh, it should never have been. <laughs> Dwight, <laughs> Dwight is the leader, the and he's a pretty smart leader. But when he turns into Hyde, <laughs> he is no longer the leader. But like everyone just keeps shadow. going along with it. Honestly, if you guys would have said, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to go here, we're going to be quiet, and we're going to leave. And he would have like, fine, but I'm mad about him. Yeah, if Umbra, Umbra succumbs to peer pressure as much as he tries to give it out. Kasai is really <laughs> susceptible to peer pressure. It. They were feeding it. It's just as much your guys' fault. <laughs> Can I just like add a new complication susceptible to peer pressure? Yes. <laughs> I I would totally add yeah, that. If that's if that's something if somebody <laughs> told you to do something that ends up being bad like I don't know. If there's at least two people you. saying, Man, you gotta be cool with us, come on. Even if it's against your nature. You just wanna be with the group. Yeah, man. I'm just trying to fit in. Oh, that's to be hell, especially when the brotherhood comes knocking again. Yeah, you can't oh, no. be alone with the Brotherhood. Oh no, the Brotherhood's probably not gonna wanna fuck with you. Or even they are like, no, they are too evil. We, we, we are not that No, evil. I'm waiting they... for that dude to pop up and go, what have you done? I mean, Kasai <laughs> is just a walking nuke. I so. mean, let's be real. Magneto, you're gonna meet him soon, and you're gonna see him kind of like... I don't even... I know what he's gonna say, but I don't wanna spoil it, because I want you guys to go talk to him. But please is not the thing that he wants. That's a lot of negative attention. Like, a lot. <laughs> like, yo, who, who, whoever handles the X-Men Twitter, it's probably gonna have to retire. They're gonna start it up. The first thing they're gonna post is an apology and then retire. Yeah. I, I just I mean, sold a Twitter account here. that was um, about how racist Stark is. And I guess his most recent post is, Always remember Stark Tower. I mean, you can say that he's racist, and the funniest thing about it is there's always going to be one random nobody saying stuff about a famous person, and no one listens. <laughs> Any chance that this massive thing and getting me on one of the country's most wanted lists 
would um you know get me some twitter followers do you have secret identity as a complication no all right <laughs> you from twitter dude isis still has a twitter account what are you saying oh uh, yeah you're right never mind what was i thinking <laughs> ISIS legitimately had a Twitter it's account. If you piss off a celebrity, which we did. <laughs> and the funny thing about it, in the back of my mind, I was going to bring Deadpool in, so I was like, okay, they're going to go break in Stark Tower, they're going to bump into him again, they're going to have a little shenanigans. That would be great. But... <sighs> I might God, sell an damn, actual Twitter for the characters. So, everybody can take... Oh, I'll give you two powerpoints. Uh, what's our powerpoint total now? Should be one like two. 152. One yep. Okay. It's a very low low game because none of this stuff was towards the end game. Uh, if we just stayed on track for Spider-Man, we could have just beaten him up instead. <laughs> so he said, no, he doesn't piss me off more. I was like, all right, they're gonna go after Black Queen. I got her stuff ready. I got her encounters. Got her stuff that she has set up in her lair and everything else. And you're like, we're gonna go after Spider Man. All right, so I just moved all that stuff to the side. Spent a couple minutes setting up Spider Man, where he is, what he's doing, the encounter here, whatever. And it's like, we, see, you see, uh, offhand I just mentioned, oh, you see a couple heroes fly over. You see uh, Tony Stark and Vision just fly over, and all of a sudden. Let me just ball this paper up and throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm really Everything. sorry. I just, I didn't want to take a moment to say to everyone in the group, I am very sorry for all of that. But it was <laughs> also great. It's just a goose chase while he just jumps through portals trying to catch up to you fucking teleporters. <laughs> I, I have no problem. That scene, that scene was actually rather hilarious. I like the dodgy ground scenes. I, I have... Uh, I'll say I don't care what happens uh, in game as a player, but my character is very annoying. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm I have to say, I'm you guys need to have a meeting or something. Now this is talk. the worst possible scenario, but I'm also the happiest about it. You, you need to actually talk oh, to each knows. other and come to an accord. <laughs> you fucking bird. Oh gosh, I, did, I didn't think you guys were going to top the rhino incident with destruction where you guys were like trying to prevent it from happening or the earthquake at the diner. I didn't think you were going to top that. This is the first time we've intentionally tried doing so. Yeah. I did. What do you mean we? <laughs> <laughs> We're yeah, part of a team. That statement. You're wearing an X-Men patch. We're part of a not? team. We have to stick together, no matter I, what. I think with, like, Leviathans, it'd be more like a belt buckle. Yeah, like, everyone's wearing an X-Men uniform of some sort, because you Not after to today, I'm not. <laughs> were, were we there, like, we were, we were going to search the city, right? And, and the X-Men are, like, a, already known as a terrorist organization. It seems like a bad idea to walk well, around. Well, like here's the thing. Right. Uh, the, the uniforms, you guys told me you were wearing it for well-being, because whenever somebody sees you wear the uniform, you can increase, like, they see you do something, you increase the like, the, like, the, like, the civilian rating for you. So you guys wore a uniform every time you were on the mission. And no one said they didn't, they stopped doing that, so I just assumed you were always wearing it. I apologize, I don't, I don't think I was around when that was said. Oh, well, I mean, you're invisible half the time, so nobody even knows you. <laughs> <laughs> I was also not around during that, but I accept it because peer pressure. <laughs> oh god, I gotta think about what was gonna happen. <sighs> you guys uh, like to give me work when I don't have my computer with all my data. I have to make all new shit. I'm, I'm sorry, you, you, had, you had your choices. One was I play Olerbit again, and I just say nothing. Or this happens with Umber. <laughs> uh, tell me Doctor Strange is there to like suck Umber away or something. <laughs> Uh, so once again, I as have something. I can look at you. Meta game wise, he does have the eye of Akimoto, so he could undo all this shit that just took place. 
please, so that we don't have to be ISIS and I Everyone don't have to go off. Just so I don't have Why? to go off branch with with with. You know, I don't, I don't care. That would be a grievous misuse of the timeline, and he could get in serious trouble for it. I don't personally care, but I, I would say that it would undo a powerful lesson learned. That would probably be Doctor uh, Strange's argument right there, too. Did anyone actually die? No. Good. Hey, that's better than some I mean, of our other missions. Maybe a couple civilians got hurt. Maybe some died. I don't know. I didn't do the math. But a building was almost collapsed. <laughs> maybe some people on the street... I don't know. Somebody died. I don't know. Some civilian. Like, Because no. I find it hard to believe that whole situation, nobody, got, nobody died. Like, they're going to start making more propaganda about mutants like they're gonna start bumping more money and that's what the bite is for is for it's gonna happen <laughs> with our faces on it that was that was actually legitimately funny uh, uh no you you already have pictures of with your like you already have your face yeah, showing not even more now like you specifically had a picture of you with leader Esmond. yup oh wait she's <sighs> I was actually waiting for like Stark to show up at your lair, and actually had it set up like, all right, well, he's gonna go there, he's gonna find where the lair is, and then next session, we're gonna start out with an, an assault on their base, and it's gonna be the entire Avengers attacking their base. Nice. And there's a lot of them. <laughs> the, well, pretty much everyone from the movie, except for Hulk, because he's off doing other stuff. Yeah, Hulk's in the process of being manhunted. And Captain America's dead. Yep. I'm not gonna lie, the moment the alarm starts ringing that the Avengers are attacking us, you guys are gonna turn around and I'm already gonna be in Wakanda. Hey, I'm gonna amp up my speed to where I can run, like... At this point, and... I had to ask, which way do you run to Wakanda? Do you, like, go out across the Pacific or the Atlantic? And if you run to Wakanda, you technically, they would try and extradite you. I know. At least I have <laughs> some possibility of surviving in Wakanda. And like what happens if they do extradite you? Oh no, I know I'm going to jail either way, but you know. Yeah, you uh, would you run away again? At which point you're going to be a fugitive from Wakanda? <laughs> Look, I just start flying around the globe. I don't care. I'll make I'll make stops just to eat some, and then keep on flying. Uh, you know people can catch you. I mean, how many people can actually catch me? Quick To be fair, you leave a big oh. lightning uh, path in your <laughs> way. Yeah. yeah. They just have to basically and go. And where you land, people will know. Well, this was fun. <laughs> <laughs>